Three, two, one. Hey guys! <laughs> We're here to talk about <laughs> cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies. Once you kind of get your head around how the blockchain works and how it's secured, it's a very elegant and not really that complicated uh, system. It's just a really neat application of uh, using those hashes to, you know, the proof of work system to uh, ensure the integrity of the chain. Yeah, I think if you understand how it's work, how it works, you're also more likely to understand why it might be valuable. Right, and so you're more likely to maybe invest something in it. And as an outsider, it's like so ethereal it's like this virtual thing and if you don't understand the underlying cryptography it's it certainly looks like snake oil you know it looks like it's some sort of scam and i'm sure there are a lot of them with a lot of the icos that are happening now but the underlying blockchain technology i think is a, a really big deal well the currency thing is nice because it gives people a reason to use the blockchain Right, like you use you use this blockchain because that's where you keep your money, and having it based on keeping tracking currency gives people incentive to keep updating the blocks. So uh, that that's sort of this. It's like an electromagnetic wave. You know, you have these two aspects that kind of reinforce each other, and that's why you have this blockchain that goes on forever. Um, so I think that's that's why they've gotten popular. I think you can. Like, if you needed a time stamping service that was like auditable by anybody, like that's one application that I think is pretty obvious. That's not just currency. You could piggyback it on top of something like Bitcoin, sure. where people are updating the chain because it's a currency. But then you also get these other benefits that you can, you know, do time stamping or like keep track of other data in there. We're here for count pointer count. I also question sort of the utility um, based on some of the, the proposed uh, ideas for uh, how you would use the blockchain. I don't know that they're necessarily realistic or that useful or that the problems that a blockchain solves are necessarily the same problems that people with some of the ideas for blockchain use are actually trying to solve. It's like you can use the blockchain as a database, but it's kind of slow and not terribly efficient. So unless you need all the things that blockchain solves, it seems like it's maybe not a great application for it. <laughs> We're not usually badly behaved.